A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and helping us launch the online store that keeps this boat build afloat. Good morning and welcome back to the winter build series. Though I have to admit today does not really feel that much like winter. The sun is shining, which I'm so grateful for. It is a beautiful Sunday. Um, if you caught up with us last week, you know that last yesterday we worked really late on the boat and this morning we took it really slow. So I'm getting started. It's 10.30 a.m. on Sunday. What a glorious time to start the day. So I am going to make us a little bit of overnight oats. Hi, I'm Dana and that's my husband, Lou. For the past five years, we've been on a mission to live creatively. It all started when we quit our jobs in New York, moved abroad, bought a rusty old van named Odie, fixed him up in the mountains in Spain, drove through most of Europe, wrote a book, sold the van, and bought a sailboat. Our next goal is to circumnavigate the earth in our 1976 Rasmus 35. But first, we need to prepare Penelope for the voyage of a lifetime. So welcome to the Winter Build Series. Snacks, snacks, snacks. Step back. Let's do it. Here we are again. Welcome back. Back in the shed. I like it in here. Isn't it amazing? It's like our own private garage. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, I love it. It's really nice. I'm excited to have our brunch. I'm hungry. Mm hmm Do you have some snacks with me? Yeah, definitely. Ugh. So nice and warm in here. There's yeah. no wind. It's I, not gonna rain. It feels like a greenhouse effect. These like the tarp on top or whatever. on Penelope and I'm very excited to try out these concoctions. It's going to be delicious. And to get to work on Penelope. I know today Lou wants to clean the boat. Like there's a hose here so we can do that and clean. She's very filthy and since they're going to be painting the bottom of the boat we just want to like get it all clean and then work on some bilge projects. Hopefully install this water filter that we were trying to do yesterday and yeah I'm very happy to be here it's so nice the sun is out it's still cold I mean I still have two pairs of pants on but it's different feeling when the sun is out we just want to go get a few more things we'll have snack time soon And I tasted some of the strawberries, they're really yummy. Mm. Wow. Wow, that's actually really good. All right, so today we are tackling a very exciting project on our beautiful boat Penelope that I have been meaning to get to for months and months and months, and that is the bilge, which basically is the lowest part of the boat where water can collect. And we currently have one manual pump 
and one electric pump. So if there's no electricity, you can pump it out. But we're missing a high water alarm and a couple other sensors like fuel and oil detection. Um, just like a couple little things that will make our boat quite a bit safer. The high water alarm is so like if the water gets to a certain point in your boat, there will be like a crazy loud alarm that goes off. Hopefully this never happens. And then it'll wake you up and you'll get to like figure out what's actually going on. Cause right now you would have no idea until like the floorboard started floating that like there was an issue if the bilge pump was broken. So it's gonna be a very tricky project, I think, because it's a tiny little space. It's like deep down, it's hard to get to. That's why I brought Dana because- <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to help and support you in anything that you need because it's gonna be challenging to like climb down there. And I think the first step will be to clean it and get it really nice and clean and dry. And then we'll figure out how we can actually mount the different sensors down there. And once they're all mounted, then we can run cables up, but we don't actually have, I think, enough cable to do that part of the project yet. So it's really just about figuring out how to get down there, clean it, rearrange it, and build a couple supports to mount the new gear. I didn't realize today was going to be so messy. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a fun one. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the bilge pump control and alarm system, which I already mounted here. It's not really fixed in place because we need to wire it still, but this will be where the alarm comes through. And then it's really cool. You can control it here. And what I really like is it has a pump counter. So this way, if you like go on vacation or something away from the boat, and then you come back, you can see if the bilge pump has been running, which would let you know like water has been coming into your boat. That's very bad. Um, and there's a little light when it's on and like different lights for oil or high water. And I think there's even a way to turn off the alarm with the mute button once it gets going, because I'm sure it'll be like absolutely insane when that thing goes off. So yeah, we just got to figure out our bilge system, which is all down here. I'm ready. Yeah. Shall we? This could be messy. It's going to be okay. We can always wash our clothes. Our beautiful bilge. The big pipe is from the manual pump out, which is right here. And then down there, the boat came with a float switch and just a normal bilge pump. And we're gonna keep those, so we're actually gonna have two bilge pumps now, which will be really nice. And we're gonna keep this as well. We're just gonna reorganize everything to add some more components. So all we gotta do is get that out. There's a spider who made this their home. I see the spider. Let's see if I can get him to go in this jar. Come on, go in this jar. <laughs> oh. Oh gosh. Nope. Oh, where come on, dude. I tried to get him to go into the jar, but I think he fell down into the ground. <laughs> Maybe we'll rescue him later. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of doubt it though. This is gonna be a little messy. Oh yeah. I found the spider. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Let's see, how are we gonna do this? Yes. Yes, I'm so proud of you. You take it outside? Watch out, he's moving. I don't see him. You don't see him? Oh, he's off, he's off. <laughs> Should we just put him out there? There he is. Bye, Mr. Spider. Do you think he can survive a drop down? Yeah. Actually, he's kind of going there on his own. Yeah. Wow, it's like a yo-yo, like, going down. Freedom! Come on, bud! This world just got so much bigger. Should I let him go? Yeah. You sure he won't die? He won't die. Okay. <laughs> you got your spider just like you wanted. He's on the ground, I see him. <laughs> <sighs> Back to the belt. Oh, got it! <laughs> I did it!
This thing is so cool. Isn't that amazing? I've never used a wet vacuum before, but that is very convenient because that was nasty. Like it had mold, you know, you could see the slime and so much gunk in there and then you don't even have to touch it. <laughs> nice. Thank you, vacuum. <laughs> All right, so all of the water is out of there and now we can really start to clean it. I think we'll get a bucket with some water and some soap and like brush it all down. Yeah, I like that idea. And then we can just wet vac it all back out again. Yeah, and, and that probably makes the vacuum less nasty too. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do we have a bucket? We have a bucket. I really? One. Yeah. Can you find like the sponge in the bathroom, I think? Look what I found. Nice. Okay. I also found this stuff. That stuff works so well. That was crazy. <laughs> and here's our bucket. This spot was actually like last year when we bought the boat, we did a really big deep clean of it and then I wanted to clean underneath here, but I didn't know I could like unscrew those water pumps and things like that. So it was always this like, I knew it was yucky and like lurking underneath that like floating bottom thing. It was so satisfying to clean it because it was the dirtiest spot on the boat. Now it will be clean. All right, so Dana is just scrubbing the bilge one last time. This will get like all of the last little bits out of there. And then the next step is kind of to think about how we're gonna mount all of the different new components down there. I really want them to be like fixed in place because like the old system, the floor wasn't attached. So there'd be like all of this like dirt and water underneath you couldn't see. And then I think like if a ton of water came in there, theoretically it could float up. I don't know if like that would actually happen or not, but it'd be nice for the things to be mounted fixed on the bottom and to figure out a way so that we can keep the bilge completely clean and dry all of the time. And this way, if it's dry, then you can just vacuum down there and it's not like this whole crazy project trying to get it clean. Um, it's looking way, way better though. Look at that. That is wild, babe. Before so and after, you know. So clean down there. Good job. Thank you. And it took like 20 minutes, like yeah. nothing. You're not wearing your watch anymore? No. Time doesn't matter, you know. Cheers. I love cleaning, it was so satisfying. Mmm. Mm. It's now four o'clock. A lot has happened in the last hour. We um, talked with the previous owner because, and he actually stopped by to check out our problem. When we were cleaning the bottom of the bilge, I realized that there was a part of the bilge that felt like a little bit squishy, and then it was like a hole. And then when you pushed on it, more water came out. And so I think what must have happened was there was like a screw hole or something like that on the bottom of the bilge not from the previous owner, from before that even, and water had gotten in there and then frozen and then thawed and frozen and thawed and created this little like crack in the bottom of the well, I think is the term for it, which is this area here. So what we have to do is we have to dry that spot out really, really well. Then we have to grind down the fiberglass and then all of the crack and the hole so that it's completely like clean and then either refill it with a, like with fiberglass or epoxy. I'm not exactly sure all the steps yet, but what this means is we cannot install all those gadgets. That was the plan with all the different bilge pumps and the bilge alarms and the oil alarms and all of that. That's gonna have to wait and we have to dry out this problem, but we're instead gonna use the afternoon to clean the whole boat because that's something that we needed to do anyway. And you wanted to do that, right? Yeah. That's, that's what Lou really wants to do. And so I'm happy doing whatever. So he wants to clean the boat. We're gonna clean the boat. And I feel like it will still feel like a really satisfying day if the whole boat is clean. Just the outside or we clean the inside? 
Uh, mainly just the outside. Mainly just the outside. We're cleaning and... Because we're in the shed right now. So yes. Like, because we are. Yes. We are going to clean the outside of the boat this afternoon because we are in the shed right now. So we want to take advantage of the fact that we're in here and it's easy and yeah, it's a fun Sunday afternoon. Clean the boat. So that's what we're going to do. Ramble over. <laughs> realized the hose is broken but luckily our friend Ari from the yard is still here so he's gonna get us a new hose. Oh my god you are the best. We had a couple right in the building. Oh you're the best. Thank you. Thanks so much. <laughs> nice to have friends of the yard. Is it on in there? Dana, you can turn it on. I did. Yeah? Yeah, it's on. Are we in business? Yep. Woo! Hey, hey. <laughs> Let's get to cleaning. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. We, I vacuumed the whole boat. It's crazy how much a vacuum can do. Like, oh, yeah. it, those wet vacs are incredible. Mm-hmm. Look at that. This is the coolest shed ever. I want one of these. One day. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. You got your lights, you got your hose. Be ready for action. Make this okay, boat shine. It. Make it good as new. Ready? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, this is a hose. Was actually really really fun was that yeah it's like nice since we're in the shed to take advantage of the fact that we have access to the high-powered hose and like not being hit by the windstorm and snow and rain that has taken place outside while we've been in here and it's just been comfortable and cozy and now Penelope is glistening she's not like perfect perfectly clean but she's very close and I feel like that was a huge facelift because she was covered in so much sawdust from all the other projects we've done all winter so it's nice to just like wash that away New start, and yeah, keep going with our projects, but not tonight. It's already six o'clock. I think that we just have to clean out the bilge one more time because some of the water leaked through, and so clean out that area and then get that like cracked hole thing drying. And then that's, that's it for today, I think. Mm -hmm. A good Sunday on the boat. And dinner. And dinner. So now we will redrain the bilge again. <laughs> Time to go home. All right. Crazy. Did you see the hail outside? I know, while we were working. It's like snow hail. 
It honestly reminds me of Dippin' Dots. Did you ever eat that? Mm. Dippin' Dots is like this crazy like astronaut themed ice cream. And that's what this looks like. Like, look at this. Oh my gosh, it is. It's like Dippin' Dots. Maybe that's what inspired Dippin' Dots. <sighs> Not spring yet. Still winter building. Good thing we're in the shed. I know, we didn't even know. It's like I thought I heard something. I'm like, who cares? It could be raining, it could be snowing. Doesn't matter to me because we have an awesome garage, like shed tent thing. Ah, oh, that was really fun. It was a good day, right? Penelope is glistening. We just, yeah. Let's go home, I'm hungry. Yeah, leftovers for dinner? Leftovers or new food? What do you want? Whoa, that's ice. That's just gonna stay there. <laughs> I guess, yeah, it's 37 degrees outside. Wow. You know, when we came here, it was 50 degrees, and I had high hopes spring was coming. So we are back home. We are showered because we got absolutely filthy cleaning Penelope. But it's funny when you think about today, when it started, I had no idea what the plan was. And then as progressed, we thought that we were gonna focus on safety, like getting our build set up so that like if we had the high water alarm in there, we had the oil like alarm in there and all these other things. And that was the plan. It's like, let's make the bilge safe. But then as it progressed, we ran into this other problem, which was like a drilled hole in the bottom of the bilge that was like leaking water. And so it's funny how like you, can think that the day is going one way, but then it goes another way. And then ultimately we ended up cleaning the whole boat, which was so much fun. <laughs> I had no idea that a vacuum cleaner and a power hose could be so entertaining, but it felt really good to get all of that sawdust and all that grime off of Penelope. So she was really shining. And yeah, I was just grateful to be in the shed, hanging with Lou. And I feel like we still made a lot of progress, even if we didn't finish any projects technically. And so now we're just gonna have some leftovers, play some chess, wrap up a really beautiful Sunday. So thank you for joining us. Um, we always feel so grateful and really like honored that you spend your time with us. So wishing you all the best and we'll see you next week. A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. My favorite part of our website is our online store and the fact that Squarespace makes it so easy to upload, sell and organize products. This way we can stay focused on creating, not coding. And next up on the agenda is a new cookbook, which I'm hoping to get into our store this fall. So please leave a comment with your suggestions or recommendations for any vegan recipe you'd like to see. And if you wanna start your own online store, portfolio, or blog, head to squarespace.com slash wildlyroam for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, we'll keep the board just how it is.